Hello plant friends! Welcome to my channel, my name is Chloe, and today we're going to be finally setting up a terrarium for these begonia that I caught a couple weeks ago in my unboxing video. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out, I'll link that below. I am so excited to finally get started. I did a little bit of research on other terrarium setups and there's not a ton of info out there, but I got most of my, I guess, inspiration from Rage of Heart Shaped Leaves, Heart Shaped Leaves, and my friend on Instagram, Planted in Seattle. Uh, she has a really great Instagram, so they're both kind of good references to see maybe what I would want to set up. And then because I also wasn't super sure, I'm going to be doing a base of Lekka, which I have right here, and then I also have Sphagnum Moss. This is the ZooMed New Zealand Sphagnum Moss, which is the best sphagnum moss I've ever used. And I attribute most of my good rooting success to good quality sphagnum. And this is also eco-friendly, so we, we love that. I soaked this for probably 30 minutes in a water and liquid dirt mix. Use code planted in Provo, or actually scratch that, I don't know the code. Soak this in water and liquid dirt for about 20 to 30 minutes and squeeze out the excess water so it's nice and moist but not too wet. And that is what I'm going to be using. I might add some soil, I'm not sure yet, so I think I'll wait to see what I want to do. So let's get started. I want to show you the plants I'm going to set up first. So this is the Begonia Julau that I got in my tray with Jerry a couple weeks ago has just been sitting in the cup that I got it in, in the moss, and it's doing really well. As you can see, it's already putting on a new leaf. The nail. <laughs> anyway, so we got the Begonia Julau. I'm just going to stick that cover right on top of there again until we're ready. I'm also going to be potting up the Begonia Dark Vadriana that I got from my tray with Jerry, and it's actually already put out like two new leaves. I'm really nervous about this one. This is the main reason that I wanted to do a terrarium setup was for this guy right here. I know they can be super duper finicky, so I'm a little bit worried about that, but I'm hoping that like it'll it'll all work out just fine. <laughs> Next, I have this Rehab Begonia uh, Maculata Whitey Eye. This was in the setup I had that got a thrips infestation. It's all okay now, but it's a little damaged and it's not super happy in the in the rehab clinic I've got going on so I'm gonna pot it in here. Next we have this Begonia Julo stick. It lost all of its leaves because it got thrips but it does have some new growth points so I'm thinking I'll just pot it in here and see what happens and then I might do one more plant. I might not. It depends how much room we have but if I do I'll go grab that and we'll see. So to Begonia Julau and the Begonia Dark Vaderiana, which I want to be kind of the centerpiece. I forgot to get a cup and a little shovel that I want to use. I'll be right back. All right, I just grabbed a cup that I'm going to use to scoop the Lekka in, and that's what we want to use for the base. So I'm going to take this. I already pre-rinsed it. It's important to pre-rinse your Lekka so that it doesn't have all of the clay and dust buildup that it usually has. So I'm going to... And I'm going to be using this Lekka as the base so that it can wick moisture up to the sphagnum moss and so that water doesn't stay too long collected at the bottom. I know other people, when they use like soil and other stuff, they'll use charcoal or some other mixture at the bottom just for extra drainage, maybe some pebbles. So that's why I'm using the Lekka instead. All right, now that the Lekka is all done and settled in there. I'm gonna move on to start putting the sphagnum moss in. This is about how much I am planning to use. I might need to use a little bit more and if that's the case I'll just go get some more. If you're curious where I get a lot of my supplies, I got this on Amazon. I can set up my Amazon link in the description, which will link you to all of the products that I use. I got this terrarium from my really good friend. She kindly gave me this terrarium, which was perfect because I was wanting to do a terrarium setup. So 
Let's start putting the sphagnum. I think it'd be fun someday to do like a big terrarium setup with like one of those Ikea display cases that you see everyone using. But I live in an apartment very temporarily. So I don't think I want something that heavy that I'm gonna have to move probably soon. So I'm just gonna place a base layer of sphagnum and then I'm going to, I think, pot up this first. I'm not gonna disturb the roots very much. I'm just gonna kind of pot around it and let's see, hopefully I didn't put too much leka in there. We'll see. The roots on this look really great. I'm so excited because as you can see from the other Jula stick, I really did need a second chance. I liked how tall this terrarium was because I wanted something that is going to give these plants some room to grow. And I think this will be really, really nice. You know what? Let me move you closer. All right, now that you're a little closer, this is what it looks like so far. So hopefully that shine isn't too bad. I'm kind of potting it to where it's gonna be all growing. I have lots of room for the leaves to grow out and then just putting moss around the root so that it can make it nice and secure. Perfect. All right, so that's what we've got going on so far. Now I'm going to pot up the Begonia Darth Vaderiana. I am so nervous about this plant because it's so cute and I want it to do so well, but they can just be super duper tricky. However, it's been growing in this really high humidity environment since it was propagated. So I'm going to try to mimic that environment, which I recommend if you're ever getting a new plant and you're worried about it, try to mimic the environment it was grown in. Oh, that's so cute. So I kind of just potted it right up in there. My face is still in it. It's so cute. I'm just gonna put a little bit more sphagnum moss right in front. I think those two look really great in there. So I'm going to just pot this Jula stick. It does have some roots on it, but it's just not doing so hot. So I'm gonna pot that in and we'll see how that ends up growing. If y'all are interested, I can do a like a terrarium update in a couple weeks and we can see how everything's growing. Okay, I'm so happy with how this is turning out already and I think these will grow super nice and be really, really cute. Okay, so here's what we've got going on so far. We've got the Begonia Julau and the Begonia Jula stick and the Begonia Darth Adriana, and I'll post some close-ups as well. And then this is the lid. I'm gonna pl place it on top, and then we're all done. Easy and simple as that. I know a lot of people grow their begonias in soil, but I'm gonna try out sphagnum and see if that works. It just holds moisture really well, and my soil composition is mostly for aeroids right now, so if I do need to change, I will and I can do an update, but Here's what we got so far. I'm just so excited. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty short and sweet, but I'm still getting used to the whole YouTube thing. And I was just really excited to show you guys how I set up this terrarium. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.